Hello and welcome back. In this video, we will see the difference between path variable and request param annotation that we have in Spring Framework. So here I am having one simple REST controller. You can have add controller as well. And this is the request mapping for this controller. Say this is employee controller and we want to get the employee details. Say for example, here we want to get the employee details by ID. So there are two ways that we can do. So we will use first path variable annotation and then we will use request param annotation. So by that example, you will get the difference between these two annotations and how to use in your Spring application. It can be Spring Boot application or it can be Spring MVC application. So let's go first with path variable. So this is our mapping and this is we can say that this is the URL of our Spring Boot application running in localhost. 8080 slash API and then slash employee. Now we want to get employee by ID. So what here we can do slash and we can provide the ID say one or 100 or anything. Okay. So we are passing the employee ID over here. Then we can do mapping like this using curly braces. This is the ID. Now this value we need to read using the at path variable annotation for this particular gate API. So this is our at path variable annotation, say long ID. If this employee ID is alphanumeric value, you can use string, you can go with integer, whatever you prefer. Okay. So this is ID and this value will come to this variable. Now say for example, here you are using some another key. This is your inside the curly braces. So this key and this variable is not matching. So in that case, you need to provide along with your annotation that map this value whatever is coming in the request with this key to this particular variable. So if that is same like this key and this variable then we don't need to use that. Okay. So here this thing is not required like this because this variable and this key is exactly matching. So we are good over here. If you want to pass second value for that you can do in the path variable same thing say I'm passing the name of the employee John. So this is one path variable. This is another one. So in the same way we can read like at path variable string name and here we need to map like this name. That's it. So this value whatever we are passing will come to this variable. This value we are passing name. So this is the key and it will get match over here and will come in this variable. Same thing if you have some other value over here you need to use over here in the annotation with the parenthesis. So this is path variable with slashes. You can provide the values, whatever number of values you want to pass. So this is backwards slash, and with that you can pass multiple values. Now let's come to the request param. Say for example, this ID and name we want to pass, but we want to have as query parameters, right? We know we can do like this in the URL ID equal to one and name equal to John. So these are our query params. We have seen many times in the URL, right? While browsing any of the website, right? So if you want to read this, your query params, you need to use the request param annotation provided by Spring Framework. So at request param and long ID, same way request param, my bad, it's not request mapping, but request param string name. So this value, whatever is coming in the URL will come to this variable and this name query param will be in this name string variable using this add request param. We don't need to do anything in our URL. Okay. Here what we are doing while doing the mapping, if you are using get mapping or if you are using at request mapping, whatever, you need to provide this path variables over here while doing the mapping. While in the case of query parameters and if you are using request param, you don't need to change anything in your mapping. You just need to read it from the URL and this is how you read it. Same thing if this your query param key is not matching then with the parenthesis you can do like this. So this is our IDD. So this value will come to ID variable that is type of long. So both path variable and request param are used to get the value from the URL. Here also we are getting the value from the URL itself and here as well. But the way we are getting is different. Here we are getting with the backward slashes and whatever values are coming and we need to map over here. If we don't do this, 
then this will not work right so even if we are passing the correct value in the url but we are not mapping over here in the get mapping or request mapping whatever it is post mapping it can be anything then this will not work now in the case of request param we are passing this as a query parameters we don't need to change anything in the mapping we just need to read the values and if this is exactly matching like this we don't need to do this as well so this is the difference between path variable and request param annotation that we have in spring framework source code link i will provide in the description and apart from that in the description you will get the links for the courses that i am offering like building the rest apis with spring boot and spring data jpa graphql with spring boot mongodb with spring boot creating the reports from your java and spring boot application using jasper reports neo4j graph database with spring boot links for these courses are provided in the description just click on the link and start your journey with the new technologies if you like the video then please subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell like the video do comment in the comment section and share with your friends we'll see you in the another video till then happy learning and happy coding